Another thing that's cool about the battery is that it uses the same exact battery cells that are in Rivian's R1 lineup and they've been starting to switch over so I heard to LFP so that would be cool if this bike's battery is LFP it'll increase the cycle count and also make it cheaper to produce which is nice. So for safety features the bike has a built-in headlight and taillight and something that most bikes don't have which is turn signals. So on the handlebars you actually have two buttons for each turn signal and from what I've heard, they're working on auto off turn signals like you would have in a Tesla. So that would be interesting to see if they come out with that in the future. That's another thing about their software and safety. They do have the auto lock feature on the rear tire, which means no one can grab it and wheel it away. They do have the loss mode. And then with their software, with them developing everything in house, that means they can send over the air updates to the bike. So if they come out with anything new, they can send it right to the bike. 